What's going on ladies and gents, this is Glenn here once again with another Rope Rage video. In today's video we're going to be looking at squat jumps and we're going to be honing in on four, <laughs> four do's and don'ts for your jump rope squat jumps. Let's crack into it. Number one, don't be a hero. Don't go straight into your squat jumps without getting the warm up in, without getting the adequate blood flow into the muscles required. For this movement, you're gonna be engaging the quads a lot, you're gonna be engaging the hamstrings a lot. So what you should do is spend some time doing some preparation movements, some warm up exercises specific for that area of the body so that you're ready to go. And that leads me into my second point. Don't land flat-footed. So when you're doing your squat jumps regularly, let's say you're doing box jumps, or you're even doing barbell squats. For those, you definitely want to be flat in the foot and pushing up through the heel. Yes, we know that. But you don't want to do that for your squat jump for the jump rope because one, you don't get any bounce to pop up again and come back down. Secondly, unless you've got super, super flexible ankles, that encourages you to separate the feet. So what happens when you separate the feet is that you go into a much lower center of gravity. Let's say you're moving through a bunch of different movements. Let's say you're moving through regular skips, maybe some double unders. You wanna be able to bounce in and out of that without having to slow things down so that you can get that flat footed sort of jump and then transition back into bouncing on the balls of your feet which is what you do with your jump rope training. It doesn't quite work out. So what you should do, a good idea is to kind of combine this with the first point and in your preparation exercise, bouncing on the balls of your feet, getting into that squat jump motion. Just focus on your posture and work on doing it without the rope. Posture brings me to the third point. Keep an upright posture keeping the hands up. Now this is a bit of a weird one because what I want you to think about here is that you want to have your hands up near your face level. Now you would never normally do this with jump rope training because you have your hands near the hip bone region but if we focus more on the rotation of the rope okay and our hand positioning being the center of that rotation when you're stood up that center is your hip bone region but then if you slide down into a squat, that center needs to be maintained. You can't bring your hands down with you, otherwise this happens. You're whacking the ground with your rope, and that's because your rope hasn't got enough space to clear. Your center has gone from your hip bone, it's followed your hip bone down, and so your rope doesn't have a full area of clearance to make that rotation. You need to maintain that center by keeping your hands up. Okay, so as you're doing your preparation as well, keep your posture, keep upright, keep the hands up towards the face. Yeah. 
lastly and this isn't really a cardinal sin it's not it's not um, a great error but if you want to master this technique do not become too reliant on one side so don't become too reliant on going into your squat swinging out to your right swinging out to your right swinging out to your right if you're right-handed like I am this is good to do when you're learning it so you can get into the flow you can understand the technique better and drill it until it becomes near enough second nature but to master the technique and this is a point we're always stressing on this rope rage channel here is that you want to be balanced do not become too reliant on your right hand or leaning to your right side or whatever it is for you if it's your left if you're left-handed work on balancing it out the way i think of this is you're using your right side to teach your left side once you've mastered something on your dominant side there's no reason why you can't replicate that on your weaker side i know it sucks it's not fun to do at all you're going to whip yourself a few times but there's no reason why you can't form those neural pathways in the brain and get that coordination going with repetition and with practice so what you should do after you've mastered it on your dominant side, is start working on your weaker side. So that's something you want to be really mindful of that, you want to take the time to focus on it. It takes a lot of investment of time, but it will pay off in the end. At the time, when you're doing it, when you're grinding through the gears, it's not so fun. But the payoff comes on the back end, it's not going to come immediately. And it just feels better to have put in the work and to get a reward from it. So keep at it, persist. And that's about it. Four do's and don'ts for the squat jump to help you master this technique. If you found the video helpful, let me know about it. Tell me in the comments. It's always a fun time for me to chat with you guys in the comments section. Do drop a like on the video if you liked it also really helps out to get more people to see these videos. Check us out on other social media platforms. And of course, of course, of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, what the hell are you doing? Hit that button, hit the notification bell, and you will be informed of videos like these, tutorials, freestyles, all that type of thing, and you will get them before anyone else. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. Until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. You must subscribe. If you don't, we have no videos. <laughs> subscribe to this video once again. Subscribe. That's it. Thank and you. subscribe for all the videos that we watch. If it's finished, we get more videos coming on. Yep. So subscribe to all of the videos that we watched. You must subscribe. Press the press button and then you will see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favourite one, then you can choose which one is your favourite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs>